Action moderator John Dickerson is with us. Good morning. Hello, Charlie. Uh, with the victory of John Kasich in Ohio, denying Donald Trump with 66 delegates, mm -hmm. does that mean that the Republicans who oppose Donald Trump can now stop him from getting enough delegates before the convention? They sure hope so. <laughs> I mean, they see this, you know, it's a glimmer for them. The idea is that they stop Trump from getting that 1,237, but that requires them continuing to stop him along the line. And the question is whether they do that, whether Cruz, Senator Cruz peels those delegates away from Trump in the future uh, contest or whether Kasich does and we'll just have to see that play out but it gives them a little hope but I know it's really early in the morning and so I, I apologize for making you do the math <laughs> but for John Kasich to win the nomination he would have to win what like a hundred and fifteen percent of the right. delegates from he'd have, to, he'd have to bring some new states into the union get those states to create <laughs> delegates <laughs> but and then win his, those delegates that's not that's, strategy is it? right the no, strategy no, no. is to stop, to stop Trump and then get to Cleveland where the convention will be held and then have a convention fight but even in that strategy for John Kasich he's got somebody in front of him which is who is Ted Cruz. Yeah. And Ted Cruz will have delegates there. He'll be closer to Trump. But Trump will have a strong argument at the convention, which is likely to be, I have more delegates than anybody else. And even if he doesn't get to the magic number, he'll have more delegates. And that's a strong argument for and him. And what do you make of Marco Rubio? The polls closed in Florida at 8 o'clock. By 8.13, he was in front of the camera saying, I'm out. Yeah. And what did you make of his speech? You talked about fractured party, yeah. fractured uh, nation. The speech was in the dark almost. It, and, and that was both its content and the way it looked. Because mm -hmm. he said there's no no more hope and optimism in this race and and that was a pretty extraordinary thing to say that that hope and optimism are gone from the race he congratulated himself for not being angry and running his campaign on anger he didn't mention Donald Trump's name but that's exactly what he was aiming at and where do his supporters go now do you think I you know I think they probably go a little bit to Kasich but some um, might also go to Cruz as the way to stop Donald Trump uh, so we'll have to see, but I think uh, I think they probably go a little bit more to Kasich, but probably split to both. An interesting point in the New York Times today by uh, Michael Barbaro saying, but Donald J. Trump and Hillary Clinton's resounding triumphs on Tuesday mask a profound, historic, and unusual reality. Most Americans still don't like him or her. Yeah. Uh, I, I, we haven't had this for a long time. You, maybe you go back to Grover Cleveland versus James G. Blaine, yeah. two nominees of parties who had big challenges facing them. Um, and that's, you know, we're going to have to figure out how that goes. But we've at the moment got people who are not seen by the larger elected, electorate as honest and trustworthy. In Ohio, 30 percent of the Republicans said they wouldn't vote for Trump. These are candidates with issues. Mm -hmm. Thanks, John. Thank you, John. Good to